hello hola hello welcome to firearms of america and today we have this cardboard box i don't know why they did not send me an original box they sent me this this item has been repackaged in recyclable frustration free packaging all right well that's it says it right here okay Anyway, today we have these Donair Trail Track hiking boots in this nice recycled box. Whatever, don't get me started on this. Donair Trail Track. So, if you guys do not have the full 15 minutes, it's a lot of time, I know, to watch this review. If you're looking to get these as hiking boots, get them. They're great. They run true to the size. They're comfortable. They're waterproof blah 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 good stuff get them but if you do have the full time to watch the review let's start it so as some of you already know my reviews are specifically for survival situations not just hiking not just oh yeah look at this this orange thing looks so cool what a nice no no that's not what i'm about. i'm about the survival practicality boots so what we do on this channel is we judge the boots by eight different criteria. And the very first one being the comfort level, obviously one of the most important ones. These boots, I do like the comfort. I do like the comfort of these boots. Now, the only problem that I'm having with these boots whenever it comes to comfort is that the inner sole is a little bit on the stiff side. So there isn't enough of that jelliness going on, especially here in the middle. Now the heel, there is a little bit of jelliness, it feels good, but in the middle of the foot, it is very, very tough. So whenever you're running, you better be running very properly in these boots. If you are not, you will get your feet beat up pretty quickly. How do I know that? Well, because in order to test these boots, what I do is I do a three mile run without stopping and then I do a five mile walk without stopping. Everything is without stopping. Yeah, I'm not that good of a runner, but I can run three miles without stopping. Let me tell you guys, running in these boots was fairly simple. Now, they are not exactly lightweight. If you are looking for lightweight hiking boots, like really lightweight, I would suggest to look around because they do have some weight to them. Nevertheless, this weight comes with its own benefits and we're going to talk about them a little bit later but but when it, weight go, works a little bit against the comfort level whenever you're running especially so you get tired quicker obviously walking of course not as much of an impact unless you're walking for 10 miles a day you know if you're like a professional trekker professional hiker then obviously well not really professional but if you can walk 10 miles a day, then you're serious about hiking. Uh, obviously, then weight definitely plays a role. Um, but, but overall, the comfort level is not that bad. I think it is, is definitely, you know, I've had worse. Uh, another thing that I do like about these boots is that the bottom sole, surprisingly, is very flexible. Now, uh, even considering the fat, hard rubber that gives you good good amount of protection from penetration the rocks sharp rocks whatever you do get that flexibility in the bottom sole that you know benefits the comfort level so overall on the comfort level i would give it a solid 7 out of 10 i do like the comfort could have been better if they implemented a little bit a little bit better inner sole i think it would have been better uh i'm not gonna complain about the weight like i said because the weight comes with its own benefits it's worth sacrifice right now that's the criteria number two let's talk about that the proofing and protection these boots they do shine whenever it comes to protection first of all they are waterproof it's not anything fancy like gtx like gore-tex it's a denier dry it's their own waterproofing system but nevertheless it is it, it does the job you know the tongue is gasseted right here you as you can see so you do have a good what is it four and a half five inches maybe even a little bit more 
of you know if you step in a creek that deep you're not gonna get wet uh but but whenever it comes to protection you do have reinforced toe right here it's actually reinforced very nice will protect you from impact you do have reinforced heel actually reinforced now the ankles is the only thing that is kind of open but nevertheless this fabric is pretty strong so you will get not not a lot but some some of the protection i think the best part whenever it comes to protection is the bottom sole is how thick and hard this bottom sole is now it does feature two different rubbers this one right here which is softer which is allows the flexibility and then the outer layer is the harder rubber which gives you that protection so waterproof plenty of protection obviously with the protection it comes the weight again something to sacrifice for a little bit more of protection i think it's definitely worth it so let's talk about the number three criteria number three quality and the design features now these boots i'm not sure if they're new on the market i haven't seen them before so they don't have a lot of reviews on Amazon, only about 50 reviews. Good reviews overall, people do like them. And the build quality, now I have reviewed probably five or six different pairs of Denair and all of them quality wise, they were excellent. Excellent boots. Denair makes really, really good quality boots. So I, I never had any problems with those. Uh, in fact, one of my favorite, one of my top favorite survival boots so far are from Daenerys, Daener Tachyon. I have done review on those. Check them out if you're interested. Uh, design features, I wanted to point out the open hooks are here. Now they are metal, which gives you a little bit more peace of mind. <laughs> nice compared to plastic ones. Uh, the strings are very nice. They are thinner strings, so it's, it's very fast and easy to tighten them up all right so let's move on to the criterion number four and it's the outsole traction and stability now this is one of my favorite parts in this boot is i really do like this outsole uh it features as you can see perfect amount of flatness so you will be good in the sandy surface so you're not going to get stuck in the sand and nothing is going to get stuck in between the grooves but at the same time it features decent amount of aggression now it's not as aggressive as for example solomon boots so if you are looking for more aggression check out something else this is not as aggressive they are fairly stable but but whenever things get more slippery wet grass you do get sometimes these over slides in this boot so they are not as aggressive but like i said they do perform very well on the sandy surfaces i also like the uh these ridges they are very helpful if you are climbing you know the tree climbing the rope whatever you're climbing they are definitely very helpful uh the only thing that is absolutely flawless in this outsole is how hard it is it gives you a very nice protection from penetration i was running over uh, a rocky road and sharp rocks nothing to worry about with this outsole so number five criterion is the temperature now i have been testing these boots in florida weather uh probably about 95 degrees outside it was very hot i did not overheat so the breathability is very nice but they are more on the warmer side so i if I was buying them for hiking specifically in Florida, I probably would go something a little bit lighter, something a little bit more breathable. But in average temperatures, I think these, these boots are pretty balanced for the temperatures. In extreme colds, they might get pretty cold, but I think with some nice insulated socks, you can get away in some, you know, pretty cold temperatures like minus 20, minus 30, you should be good. And if you do have experience with these boots, in certain temperatures definitely let me know in the comments below because it will be very helpful now number six very quickly is the sizing the sizing no problems there they are true to the size got them in size 10 and yes they are you know perfect fit me perfect without any problems number seven number seven is the most important one is the balance of application meaning that if this really was your ultimate survival boot and this was really the last boot that you put on and you had to walk out of your house, 
run out of your house, crazy situation, scary situation, you know, catastrophe, war, whatever, and you had to run or walk for miles and miles until you, until you reach the safety and you had to fight and you had to do all of these things to survive. Would this be good boots? I think overall this definitely deserve a good score in the balance because they're really balanced. They do offer a lot of protection. I think at the end of the day, it comes out to the personal preference. Are you the type of person who will sacrifice lightness, mobility for some extra protection? Or will you prefer less protection, maybe not waterproof, but a lighter boot that you can move faster in, that you can be a better fighter, Jackie Chan, fast speed, this sort of stuff. All comes down to the personal preference. The only complaints that I have about these boots, really, the only complaints that I have is that there is not enough aggression in the outsole. I wish there was a little bit more aggression in the outsole. These grooves, for example, they could have pointed them out a little bit more to the back to give them a little bit, not like slippery, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's just. I can see it perfectly in my head, but obviously you cannot see that. <laughs> but, but to give them a little bit more grippiness, because whenever you're running, like I said, on slippery surfaces, like, you know, wet leaves, grass, it, it can get pretty slippery in this boost just because the there isn't enough of that aggression. This is the only complaint that I have. Uh, the, the weight, I can't really say that it's a complaint because like I said, the weight comes with a lot of cool protection that is that is good. Honestly, that is good, especially survival, especially in hiking. So the very last criterion that I wanted to mention here is the price. The price is currently on Amazon. The link is in the description below, by the way, is $140, $139.95 uh, for this size, size 10. I'm not sure maybe for, for other sizes, it might be a little bit different, but the average price is 140 bucks. I think it's a fair price for the Nair boots. The Nair boots are very good quality. You know, definitely, definitely good quality boots. Uh, can't go wrong with that. But, but at the same time, there's a lot of hiking. Whenever it comes to hiking, hiking boots, there's a lot of good competition out there for that price range. And I have reviewed some of them on this channel. So check it, check, check it around. You know, see, see, maybe you will actually find something else that is more applicable to your style to what you prefer so let me know in the comments below what you think about these boots would you consider them for your ultimate survival would you consider them for your hiking situation and if you found this review useful please subscribe please hit the like button uh it would be very very helpful as you can see this is still a growing channel so every subscriber definitely definitely counts and definitely makes a difference thank you very much guys for watching this was firearms of america and this was a review for Danair trail track hiking boot thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video